all right now if you have just bought an iphone or if you have just switched from an android phone to iphone you might want to know some cool features this phone offers so in this video i will share five cool tips and tricks on iphone 14 pro max and these will be applicable on most iphones running on ios 16. going forward i will share more tips and tricks like these and i also post tips and tricks videos for samsung's one ui so if you are an iphone user or a samsung galaxy user you will find some useful contents on the channel so be sure you subscribe and stay tuned for those videos now let's dive right in the first feature i want to share is scan text feature on iphone's keyboard now as you can see while typing something on the keyboard you can just press and hold on the space to open this particular pop-up on the right we have got this cool icon here when you tap on this icon you can see the camera opens up on the keyboard itself. Now we can just point this camera on the text, maybe on the book or maybe on the monitor. It will instantly recognize the text and paste that on this text box. It's very easy and convenient to copy those texts from the books or anything that you see. Just point the camera at it, the text will get automatically copied. That is a fantastic feature we have got on iOS. Now moving on to the next one, I'm going to show you how you can quickly take a full screen screenshot and instantly save it in PDF format. Let's open Safari browser here. We have this web page open here. I will just press the power button and the volume up button simultaneously. As you can see, the screenshot is taken here. Now here we get editing options for the screenshot and you'll also see full page option right here on the top right. I'll just tap on this. Now, as you can see, we have got various editing options here at the bottom as well. Now here on the right, we also get a preview of this entire page. You can just scroll up and down to see the preview of that page. Now to save it, we have got this icon on the top right corner. I'll just tap on this. You will see all these contact options and applications here. I'll just swipe up to see this option save to files. I'll just tap on this. Now we are in files application. Here, as you can see at the bottom, by default, it says PDF document. So this is automatically getting saved as PDF document. If you want to edit the document name, you can do that here and just tap on save. Now the screenshot that you have taken is in PDF file, which is awesome. Now let's move to the next one. This is a crazy feature which Apple implemented on iOS 16. Let me just open photos. I'll open any of the images here. Now let's say I want to crop a particular portion of this image or let's say I want to crop a particular object from this image, I can do that in a Jiffy. Just press and hold on that particular item on the image. The AI will instantly recognize it and it crops it, which can be copied and pasted on any other application or you can also share it right from here. As you can see, I just press and hold on this image. I'm able to move this object around. This is so amazing, isn't it? Now you can just share it right from here or what you can do is you can just press and hold on it and use your other finger to open any other application, let's say uh, iMessages, and you can just drop this on a particular contact to whom you want to share this cropped image. This is really cool and it's a crazy feature which Apple has implemented on the iOS 16. Let me know what do you think about this feature. Now the next one is a very cool useful feature which I'm going to show you. Let's go to settings. I'll tap on accessibility settings. Now here under physical and motor, we have an option called touch. I just tap on this. Now let's scroll all the way down. Here you see an option called back tap. It says double or triple tap the back of your iPhone to perform actions quickly. Let me just tap on this. Now here we have got two options, double tap and triple tap. I'll just tap on double tap. Now here you see various functions which can be executed when you double tap on the back of your iPhone. This feature exists on few other phones including Google Pixel. Now here we have got various other options also. You can see we can open camera when you double tap or triple tap. You can open control center, home, lock rotation, lock screen. There are multiple options here. Even under accessibility we have got few options. Then we have got scroll gestures, shortcuts. You can set anything you want. Even for the triple tap, all these functions will be available. That is the fourth tip we have in this video. Now moving on to the last tip. This is about editing your widget stack. Now we have got these cool widgets which are available on iOS and there are some widget which enables us to add multiple widgets and stack it up in a single widget. Now for example, you can see this widget, if I press and hold on this, we get an option called edit stack over here. When I tap on edit stack, you can see I have already set a few widgets here 
And if I want to add more, I can just press on this plus button. I get to see all other widget options here, including some of the third party app widgets, which can be added on this widget stack. Samsung also added this feature recently on Android 13, which is One UI 5.0. And this feature makes the home screen clutter free, especially on iPhones where we don't have app drawer. These are a few tips I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know what do you think about them and stay tuned for the upcoming videos on tips and tricks for iOS. And I will also be posting a few more videos on One UI on Samsung Galaxy phones. So if you want to know your phone better, be sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you find this video useful, do smash that like button as well. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.